Hello everyone, today's video we're going to be looking at how you go from having a trading company and turning it into a family investment company via a trade sale. So consider the scenario, you just have a uh, trading company to start with, let's say it's husband and wife as the shareholders, business continues to trade for many years, becomes very successful and then there is talk of a trade sale. However, before we get to the trade sale, we have some valuable assets that have accumulated in the business, specifically property, um, a lot of plant and machinery that's uh, expensive plant and machinery worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. So what we've done is we've inserted a top co. So we've inserted a top co above the trade co. It's what we call a share for share exchange. The shares in the top co are exchanged uh, for the shares in the bottom co. So the husband and wife own the top co, which in turn owns the trade co. So we moved all the valuable assets from here up to here. And that commercially protects all the assets because they are ring fenced. If anything happened to the trade co, if the trade co was sued, attacked by creditors or an action brought against it. Now, let's say fast forwarding uh, a few years and we have a a bidder who is interested in buying the company. So rather than selling the whole group, what happens is that the buyer is interested in the trade company. So the buyer has a limited company. And what happens is that the buyer will pay the funds to the top co to acquire the shares in the trading co. So money's coming to top co and trade co goes off to the acquiring company. That transaction is exempt for capital gains tax purposes. There is zero capital gains tax. It's known as substantial shareholding exemption. It's been in the UK tax statute for about 20 years. It was made more favorable a couple of years ago because it used to be the position that when you did this, you had to have another trading business underneath. That was removed about two years ago. So now you can have this situation where you've got a single trading company sold and the proceeds go into the top company and that is tax free. Now, you might say, well, what about getting your hands on it if you are husband and wife? But think about it. If you've got all that money, what are you going to do with it anyway? Chances are you're not going to blow it all. You're going to want to invest it into uh, all sorts of assets. You might want to buy that yacht you've always fancied or... Uh, buy an uh, expensive work of art. Now, the thing is, that's the place to have it in a company, also known as a family investment company, because of the low yields of corporation tax, 19%, capital gains, again, low, compared to if you had assets that weren't in there, but owned up here by the individuals, the tax bill would be a lot higher when you're talking about the yields coming off those assets or indeed capital gain when you sell them in the future. So that is the family investment company. At that point as well, you can also do clever things with the shares and put kids on as shareholders. But essentially, as an all-round uh, planning vehicle, that's how we get from trading company, goes along very nicely, acquires a few valuable assets, cash, machinery, property, introduce top co, and then trade co is sold to acquiring co, money comes into the Top Co, so that is now standalone company, also known as a family investment company, and then that company can invest in all sorts of assets. And dividends can be paid out in a tax efficient manner to husband and wife um, for uh, personal expenses that, uh, that they will have. So that's just a quick overview there on how you go from Trade Co to Hold Co to family investment company. If you like this video, please do subscribe and I will see you soon.